Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on de-bloating Windows 10. We all know Windows 10 can be very sluggish sometimes, especially with bloatware, slowing down your system. Even with some of the most powerful hardware nowadays, Windows 10 seems to just eat up as many resources as it can. So, we're going to go over a simple way to de-bloat your system. It's easy, simple, and safe. First off, you're going to want to go to this website on GitHub. Link is in the description. It's called Windows 10 de-bloater. Made in PowerShell. Made by this guy right here. Credit to you. I We'll give credit in the description. Don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you very much. Great code. If you clicked on the link in the description, you should be at this point here. Your Windows 10 to bloater. Scroll down. There is a disclaimer stating some things. If you want to read through that, there is a couple methods, uh, but we're going to go through the simplest method through here, which is at the very bottom of this. You're going to see this thing called quick download link. You're going to want to copy this and go over here and type in search, type in power shell, but you don't want to open this up in a normal way. You want to right click and click run as administrator. You're gonna have a pop up here, select yes, and now you have PowerShell. So, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna paste this link that you copied from the website. So, right click, then click enter. Your system's gonna state that it just made a restore point. It is giving me a warning because I've recently made a restore point. That's normal if it does that. The restore point is just in case if anything goes wrong. But we're gonna go through all these options in here. So, there's a custom block list. If you want to customize the files whenever you download them, you can do that to add a little bit of customizability on it. If you just wanna get rid of certain applications, certain privacy uh, options, you can do that. And there is a way if you want to fix it, you could run the script again and go in here and click revert registry changes if it causes any issues. Cortana, no one likes Cortana, I disable it, no one uses it. Edge PDF, I don't use it, I don't like Edge. Um, and Dark Theme, this is a really good one. If you enable Dark Theme, it will enable it across your whole system regardless of whether or not your system is activated with the Windows key, which is awesome because Windows will lock you out of your themes options if you don't have an activated system. This option here, click on uninstall OneDrive. Your system sometimes doesn't like this. Uh, Windows 10 in general doesn't like this. You, you're going to see your system restart. It's basically your Windows Explorer restarting itself. Screen will go blank and then it will refresh everything. Don't worry about this. It's very normal. It happens all the time. Stopping your Explorer. That's what ru runs your whole Windows thing. It's been restarted. And as you can see, everything's fine. Disable telemetry and task. Awesome one. It disables your Wi Fi, live tiles, data collection, location location tracking, location tracking, all the good stuff you want when it comes to de-bloating your system. You can unpin tiles from your start menu. Basically gets rid of those ugly tiles you see whenever you type in things in your system. They're really annoying. Then you want the main thing here, remove bloatware register keys. This is going to remove all the register keys uh, from your system, which has been known for tracking you and what you're doing on your system. One thing I will state is Xbox Live sometimes dislikes this because it gets rid of the Xbox game caliber UI. So if you don't want it to do that, you have to go in there and make special changes to the file if you want it to ignore those certain ones and including minecraft javascript it doesn't like that sometimes i've seen it give issues sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does if it does you can obviously go in here and revert your changes so you know no worries there there's also another option here called install net which is a framework that some applications like to use it's some sort of networking framework that some applications like i don't need it if you're if you have applications that need it i would install it besides that you're basically done all your bloatware has been removed. I would recommend a system restart just in case. And that was it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.